All right, so here's the tree that I usually get my moss from. I mean, it's a, this is lichen, not moss. Sorry about that. And you can see my my old spaces right here where I took some already. <laughs> and you can see how all this gray stuff right here, that's lichen. And you see this? It's even more pronounced here. So that's lichen. You can see where I got some before. And I'm going to just pull some off and I'm going to show how this happens. So you just kind of pull it off like this. Just get some bark. You're not going to hurt the tree by pulling bark off. So, and then you can see some algae too. That dark green stuff, that brighter green stuff is algae. And lichen is the combination of algae and fungus. So it helps each other. So basically that's what you do. And you can see, you know, it's not hurting the tree. And then I'm gonna bring this in and I'm gonna show you what you do with it in a minute. Okay, so you can see, now I have the lichen. I just put it here on a paper towel, right there. And it's just tree bark, basically with the green lichen on it. Oh, sorry, got reverse, see that? And then what I do is you get some distilled water Kentwood or whatever, it distills the best. It's just boiled water that's been uh, evaporated and sank down so there's no chlorine or any other impurities in it. And what I do, pour a little bit, you know, maybe about, I don't know, three ounces. And then what I do here is I tend to break this stuff up and just drop it in. In this way, it, you, you get it in smaller pieces, give it more surface area, okay? And then I, I find that about 48 hours, you know, you stir it a couple of times, you keep it in the house where it's fairly warm, you know, 70, 65 degrees. You don't want to keep it in the cold. Uh, the tardigrades will hibernate <laughs> so you can see maybe you know about like this see that and then since there might be some tardigrades left on here just think even in that little bit you could have 10 tardigrades <laughs> Let's try to get them all in here. And there you go. And then what I do is kind of shake them up. And the loose stuff will float to the bottom. And the tardigrades are going to float. Later on, when they come detached from the moss, I mean, I keep saying moss, this is lichen. When they come detached from the lichen, they'll uh, float to the bottom because they don't float up to the top. They kind of heavier than water and they tend to walk on surfaces. So they'll go to the bottom. And then you, know, you can keep that aerated maybe a couple of times a, a, a day. You can uh, uh, come shake it around. And uh, I usually keep some light on it, some UV light, you know, in the room, fluorescent bulbs maybe. Uh, and then in about 48 hours, we'll come back and we'll check it out and see what's in it. Okay, so I'm back. <clears throat> and now here's what I'm gonna do. Here's my uh, mesh right there. This is just some other samples I had for a couple of days already. And this is the microscope and this is the slide right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how I take some, I'm gonna take some of the water from the bottom, I'm gonna put it on here, then I'm gonna attach the, the iPhone to here, and we're gonna look for them in real time to see how long it takes us to find one tardigrade. Once I put it on here, I'm not gonna come back and keep showing you. I'll just wipe off the, the thing if I don't find any, and then I'll put more. So let's go for the first batch here. I just try to get it all the way at the bottom. You can see it right here. Kind of shake it a little bit, shake any tardigrades down. 
and you just come here and I usually just go in a line right here get get more than a drop you know because you're gonna be doing this you might be doing this for 20 minutes and I'll put this back in here and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the foam on the microscope now so I'll be right back and what I'm gonna do is bring it into focus I'm on 40x that's the edge of the water right there and you can see right there, it's the edge. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna go up and down the slide and see if we could find a tardigrade and how long it'll take. So you go down, over, up. And you kinda gotta keep focusing on the way because the depth of the water mess up. Over and back down. And you know, sometimes it, sometimes you don't find any, but sometimes, oh, there's one look already. <laughs> and that didn't take long. How you like that? <laughs> what did that take? About 30 seconds? 30 seconds maybe? No, a minute, it looks like a minute. So there you go. So it took me a minute to find a tardigrade. So now you could see how that works. And we'll just look at them a little bit. Um, let's go up in power a little bit here. So now we're on 150x. This is 150. This is about pinch zoom 300. So there you go. So after about two days of soaking and, and just, you know, what was that about? I don't know, about a tenth of a milliliter of water, we found one tardigrade. So let's just have some fun. Let's go back to 40X and see if we got any more on this one slide. So you go up. Over. That's not one. And you kind of got to keep focusing. That's some just some moss there. You see all these little pieces of lichen. And you go over a little bit and you go back up. That right there is a hookworm, which you you do find a lot of hookworms in lichen. I don't know why. These little suckers will infect you. You know, if you have a good immune system, you don't have to worry about them, but these can get in your dogs and cats and things, so you're gonna find some of those. You'll find more hookworms and tardigrades. Down. So let's see. Looks like maybe we're just gonna have one, which uh, I, I was kind of surprised that we found it on the first drop sometimes it takes three or four sometimes you don't get any but we got it on the first drop so let's see if we can find one more Coming to the edge here, let's see. Never give up. Okay, here's the edge of the water right here. So we only had one on here. So what I'm gonna do is I take this one off. Whenever I find one, I take it off and I put it in another container with more tardigrades. So I can, when I wanna stream them, I can uh, easily find them. So basically, I don't put them back. I put them in another one. Uh, and what I'm gonna do here, we're gonna. So now you're just seeing a white screen right there. So I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put one more sample on here to see, just to see what kind of samples we got. Let's see if we can get another one in this next batch here. Okay. So here we're gonna just, I'm putting it on right now. Four, five, six, seven, eight. About ten drops, and then 
You bring it all the way over to the edge and we start again. And let me balance this focus up. So this is for, oh, is that one? What is that? Yeah, there's a tardigrade. So there's number two. This one looks like, this one looks like it might be, oh, no, not a tardigrade. That is a rotifer, which you're going to find. You're going to find some of those also. They're, they're different than tardigrades, so not, not a bad thing to, to have, but we're looking for tardigrades now, but you will find rotifers in here too. And I don't have a cover slide on here. I rarely put cover slides on my tardigrades. That's another rotifer. Rotifers are going to be about 10 to 1 to tardigrade. No. Nope. So, boy, did we get lucky with that first one, huh? Let's see what we got here. Come on. Wow, so we got lucky, let's see. Cause this is my second batch. And usually if you're doing this for the first time, you might want to go a little slower. I'm just, I just know what I'm looking for when I see the motion. I think I'm gonna do one more. So we, we're pretty much to the edge of this one. There you go. So what I'm gonna do is do one more. Since I didn't find any on this, I'll put the uh, I'll put the water back in the cup where I got it. Let's do one more sample, and then uh, I'll stream these live later. There's about 10 more drops of water. So I think this will be about 30 drops of water altogether for one tardigrade, if if that's what we only found. Another rotifer right there. And I'd say if I don't find any more in this third batch, third drop of slides, that's about normal. Usually I find them after about 20 or 30 drops. It just, we got lucky and got that first one on the first 10 drops. <laughs> so. Usually when you get one that fast, you're going to have more. Uh, but we could have just been extremely lucky. There's another hookworm. Over and down. You can see how you want to go in order here. You don't want to just scan all over the thing. You want to go in order and come back. But I'd really like to find, oh, there you go. Yay, so 30 drops and I got two. So let's say 30 drops for two. So this is a good sample right here. So there you go. Here's tardigrade just swimming along. There you go. So it took, this is about nine minutes into the video. So after two days of soaking and nine minutes of looking, we got two tardigrades here. And you can see he's pretty healthy. You can see, you know, he's got a lot of food in him, looking like he's moving pretty good. So there you go. And we got him, uh, this is about 500X right here. So that's a healthy tardigrade. And they live right next door in, my, in that tree. 
So I always have a good sample of them. So there you go. How you like that? All right, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go back out to 40X and we're gonna finish this slide and see if we can find any more on 30 drops. So there he is. Yeah, so this one's right at the edge, I think. I'm coming to the end. All right, so looks like we had about 30 drops and got two tardigrades. So you could see if you're doing one drop at a time on a microscope, it's going to take a long time. If we were doing one drop at a time, this could take hours. So what you want to do is, like I showed at the beginning, kind of put about, you know, a squeeze of a line of, of drops on a slide and just be real careful and put it over there. Put it under there and you're going to find tardigrades and after a couple of days if you don't find any you know you might want to get a different sample from somewhere uh or maybe even a different section of the tree so i hope we uh learned something here and show you that you can find these if you want thanks for watching